Hi guys, welcome to iOS tutorial from dukestech.com. So in this series we are going to see how to develop a desert list using table view and we are going to implement MVVM pattern in this. So let's get started. Uh, this is a popular design pattern in iOS and Android development. So here we can see different layers like model, view model and view. So we are going to implement this pattern in our code. Let's get started. We'll open the Xcode and create a new project. Select single view application. Give any name you want. Okay. The first step is we are going to create a table view. Just open main.storyboard and add a table view open object repository add a table view here constrain the margin 0 to top 0 to left 0 to right and 0 to bottom all four constraints select the table view select add a cell here increasing this prototype cells one now select the cell here you can see the cell here and give the name of cell in the identifier so which we will use while configuring the cell the next step is to we are going to add an image view see here we have an image view and a text label so for that We'll add an image view first. Open the object repository. Constrain the image view like 10 from the top, from the left, and 10 from the bottom. Width and height, anything you can give. Yes. Okay, the next step is to add a label. Constrain the label. Left ten and right ten. and select this and select horizontally in container sorry it should be uh, vertically in constraint so we'll delete this so you can delete the constraint which we made and select this Okay, and we are going to center align by clicking this. We can center align the text. Okay. Now we have configured the cell. We need to add a cell class okay. for that. Add a new file, select Cocoa Touch class. Table in cell, any name you can give. I give the search cell and come to the storyboard, select the cell and go to the identity inspector here. Select the corresponding cell class we created just now. Only then this will be mapped to the cell class. Okay. The next step is to map these UI views to the corresponding cell class. So you need to open the assistant editor. Here we need to select the cell class, the desert cell. 
if this is not required you can delete this part and we need to map the image view and the label control drag image view and we need to map the cell as well title label throw some error Let's run it and see if it throws any errors. Okay, there is no error now. Okay. Next step is to create a model. So we'll so this step we'll add first model view. Okay. We will add a model, right click here and create new group. You will name it model and we are going to create a new class under that. Select Swift file here, it's going to be a plain Swift object. Name you can give any, I will give it as desert. So we are going to create a structure for our desert item so and it will have property of name of type string and it's going to let's say some images that's also going to be a string okay the model is done next we need to add the assets so go to assets folder I have downloaded some images you can download any images you want and you can just drop here assets okay next step is we we'll create a view model similarly right click on the folder create new group uh, give a name like view model and we need to create a file and that so we'll create a swift file name we we'll give it as a search view model we are going to create a structure or task anything is fine So we'll create we are going to create an array of desert objects. So we'll get an empty array of this. And then we'll write a function to load our array with the data items. So we are going to add the item one by one to our desert survey using append function. So in this we are going to add desert item. This is a structure, so displays the attributes of the structure. Name, we can give any name. So this one has to match the name of the assets we have created. So it's like S1, S2, S3. The same name we have to give here, S1. So we can just copy and paste.
the name you can change Who's an error so just let it auto fix the error Image name and changing to the appropriate asset name. Okay, so we have created our assets array. Next step is to create a folder for use. So we we'll move the storyboard. To view folder and also the cell class to the view folder here we need to configure the cell so I'll write a function to configure cell desert image view. For some reason, it's not showing the image property. I think sometimes this issue with the export. You just close it and open all. Right click, open it again. See, now it's showing the image attribute. Here we need to pass the desert model object so of type desert basically a structure we are passing and its attribute it expects us to pass the u image so we'll have to create a new image And the title label as well, we are going to configure. This is a strange issue to export. Sometimes this issue we'll see. Here you can see the label is not mapped properly. So delete this from the document outline. Again, click the cell, open up the assistant editor. Select the cell class, delete this. Okay, head back over to this cell class. Now it's fine. Okay, now Moving back to the view controller, we need to map our view controller. Map our view to the view controller. So.
and we are going to add the required methods of the table view so we better we can add it in the extension and it says doesn't conform the protocol now we'll create instance of the view model and before that we will set the table view data source to the view controller create instance of view model object and new model dot assets dot count here we are going to create a cell this name has to ma match the name that we have given in the storyboard table view Okay, we are going to call that uh, cell function configure cell and we need to pass an instance of the view model here of a particular row so that will be like view model dot assets of row this Passing and need to return the cell. I think we are almost done. Let's run it and see if anything is broken. Okay, so we need to call. The view model function first. It's so the images are loaded and uh, corresponding table is displayed. So we can configure this storyboard just select the image here select the content mode on the right side to aspect fill and run it and see yeah it looks nice now so you can see the images are displayed and corresponding names are also displayed and we have created this app in the MVVM pattern okay thank you guys for watching so if you find it useful please like and subscribe thank you